Hi, everybody. I'm DJ Foster here with Grand Valley State Offensive Coordinator Eric Kaler. We're here to talk about the quarterbacks in the upcoming 2012 season for the Laker football team. Coach, Heath Parling is uh, is the incumbent starter. He's been here for now. This will be his second full year as a starter. Let's backtrack a little bit to 2011 when he led all of Division II in pass efficiency rating. Uh, he threw for over 2,400 yards and 34 touchdowns. Had a great first year, uh, at least from the outside perspective, as a starting quarterback. What were your thoughts on how Heath performed in 2011? Well, I think like any new starter, uh, going into his first year, maybe the beginning was a little bit rough. There's an adjustment period there. I think uh, as you saw him progress through the season, uh, he started playing at the level we would expect him to. And I think the main reason was his level of comfort, uh, playing in the games and uh, understanding our personnel, our scheme better as you play. I, I say every year, uh, kind of at this point in the season, there's or going into the season, there's no substitute for game reps. And you can practice as much as you want, but game reps are invaluable. And I think as we saw him gain those gain repetitions, he improved and uh Certainly was playing well at the end of the year. Hopefully we can build on that and continue to improve and put more on his plate and ask more of him this year. He's had a full year as the no-doubt starter, the starting quarterback role. Um, he's an upperclassman now. He's obviously a leader of the team. What are kind of your expectations for Heath going into this year? What are you looking for from him? Well, I think the, the first thing just from him as a person, uh, he's a great leader on our offense. He's a very good student. Uh, he's great as a uh, teammate. He's a great teammate. He cares about the guys in our program on both sides of the ball, and he loves uh, Grand Valley State football. I, I think from that standpoint, I, you have what you want in a quarterback, a kid that uh, can be a leader because he's so uh, well-respected by his teammates that guys will follow him. From a perspective of him playing, I, I hope that we can continue to build as he was playing towards the end of the year, which really – uh, you go back to Brad Icheck was the quarterback when I was here and who I got to coach before Heath. Um, Brad had a great command of our offense. Part of his strength was being able to run our offense and get us in and out of into good things and out of bad plays. And all of those things are things that uh, Heath has the mental capacity to do all those things as well. So um, not only throwing the ball better and getting the ball to our uh, personnel on the offense, but also allowing our offense to be successful by having us in the right situations schematically, which I, I know he has a great grasp of what we're trying to do based on the spring and how we played at the end of the year. Looking past Heath on the depth chart, obviously you'll, you have to keep those guys ready as well. Notice guys like Isaiah Grimes and Brandon Beitzel. Uh, if those guys were thrust into game action, talk about some of the attributes they would bring. Yeah, certainly. The thing we talk a ton about in the quarterback group is it's a different position than maybe most because only one guy gets to play a lot. Sure. And I think sometimes it goes maybe by the wayside how those backups are because you don't see them as much if the starter stays healthy. So our goal is to have three guys game ready. Um, I'm confident that we're close. You know, I, I think Isaiah Grimes – um, going into his, as well, the same age as Heath, this will be his third season and, excuse me, his fourth season now sure. with us. Um, he, he is certainly capable of going in and playing at a, at a high level in Division II football. Uh, has a great understanding of what we're trying to do after being here for three full years. This is going to be his fourth, and uh, we're confident in him. He has a big arm. People see him. I know that he's, he's a big kid, obviously, mm -hmm. six 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 seven kid, and I, although you have knock on wood, you don't want anything to happen to your starter, I feel confident that Isaiah could go in there and be very productive if something did. Um, Brandon, on the other hand, is maybe a little bit behind the other two and just his overall grasp of what we're trying to do. He's you know, a year behind those guys. So we're still working through that. But uh, certainly in terms of his physical attributes, he might be the most gifted guy physically throwing the football. So uh, I'm excited to keep working with him as well. Um, just to get him ready to play in a game. Sure. So if he is called upon and when he does uh, get his first experience that he's able to go in there and be productive, much like Isaiah was uh, in some uh, spot spot time last year during, his, uh, during the season. Grand Valley State football team will open their 2012 season at Western Oregon on September 1st. Eric, thanks for your time today. Hey, thanks for having me. Grand Valley State Offensive Coordinator Eric Kaler. I'm DJ Foster. Thanks for watching the Grand Valley Sports Network.